Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A pickup from Chevrolet, the 2019 Colorado 2.8 liter 4x2 DSL, 6 speed LTAT Trail Boss, and a mid size SUV from Ford, the 2020 Everest, 2 liter bi turbo titanium plus 4x4 automatic transmission. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 Jeep Wrangler and the 2020 Volvo XC60. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickups, the 2019 Mitsubishi Strata and the 2019 Isuzu D-Max. Together with the latest news and developments in local auto industry, we shall have the recently held media ride and drive to Bataan with the Gili Kure on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Okay? Iwan mo na yan. Ako na bahala dyan. Let's go. Hatid ko na kayo. Tara! Excuse me? <coughs> Let's go! Thank you. You always have my back. Have fun. I will. I'm 36. I'm a husband, a manager, and still very good looking. In two hours, I have the most important meeting of my life. But first, it's time to play. The new Suzuki Vitara. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Chevrolet. What we have in this car review is Chevrolet's latest addition to its roster of products, the Colorado Trail Boss. This pickup fits any adventure thanks to its off-road capabilities and reliable features. Watch this. The exterior of the Trail Boss is one that is bold and tough, a feature that is a must when talking about pickup trucks. Up front, it comes with a black Chevrolet badge, and the front fascia is further highlighted by the halogen multifocal reflector headlamps and front fog lamps. Other exterior features that come standard with the variant are the Colorado black decal on tailgate, the Trail Boss decal, and the sports bar. It also comes with black fender flares and a side running board. The look of the pickup is completed by a set of 18-inch alloy wheels. All of these live up to the true American truck style. The rugged yet sophisticated look of the Trail Boss continues onto the interior. The jet black and dark ash color scheme inside makes for a very premium look while retaining a rugged character. Also, 
there's ample space for five people to sit comfortably. With regard to the seats, the front seats come with a four-way manual adjust with an adjustable headrest. For added convenience, the Trail Boss is equipped with power door locks, keyless entry, power windows, climate control, 12-volt electrical outlet, and many more. The Trail Boss also comes with a 7-inch Chevrolet MyLink touchscreen system that is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's also available in USB, Bluetooth, audio and video connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through four speakers. Let's now check what's under the hood of the Trail Boss. It is powered by an efficient 2.8-liter engine that is capable of producing 200 horsepower and 500 Nm of torque. These figures are coupled with a 6-speed automatic transmission with active selective manual mode, which transfers all power to rear wheels. For safety and security, the Trail Boss comes equipped with the necessary features including anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, side door impact beams, immobilizer, and dual airbags. That was the 2019 Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss, a pickup truck that anybody can rely on when it comes to off-road adventures. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. I'm 36, I'm a husband, a manager, and still very good looking. In two hours, I have the most important meeting of my life. But first, it's time to play. The new Suzuki Patara. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines has turned over the third batch of Isuzu modern jeepney units to Pasang Mazda. This is in line with the nationwide implementation of the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. Narito po tayo sa makasaysayang siyudad ng May Kawayan, Bulacan. Very historic itong araw nito because we're turning over our third batch of modern Isuzu PUB to Pasang Mazda. This time, 30 units po yung tinetang over namin at first time din namin mag-turn over sa Pasang Mazda ng Class 3. It's a front facing 23 passenger as required by the OTR and LTPRB. It has to meet the specification requirement of under the program. 
The 30 Isuzu QKR Class 3 Modern Jeepneys, which can accommodate 23 passengers per vehicle, are equipped with features required by the PUVMP vehicle guidelines, such as automated fare collection system, GPS tracking system, dash cameras, CCTV, and Wi-Fi. The Jeepneys are also Euro 4 engine compliant. This delivery is good sign that Isuzu new PUV is moving forward and that the transport group and riding public is already experiencing the benefit and comfort and convenience of riding the modern Isuzu PUVs. No, almost 100 times we delivered in Pasamada and there are still a lot of pending orders. We are doing it with our partner supplier. The body are made by uh, Almasora. The air conditioning, cool air, sunburn, then so accessories, and then see Yudo, and then see Mikasa. Isuzu Philippines has officially introduced their Class 1 modern jeepney during the event. Ang platform namin ngayon yung bago namin Isuzu Travis with 4JA1 engine, the Euro for the rent. For Class 1, ang passenger capacity is only 13 passengers. Para dito yung sa mga kalsadang maliliit, ang kanyang overall length lang is 4.5 meters. So, ideal to para sa mga short distance replacement ng mga jeepneys. In his speech, DOTR Secretary Tugade underscored the importance of unity and cooperation of the government and private sector in realizing the modernization program. The modern jeepneys have started plying the Malolos Bulacan route via Enlex Mekawayan Malhakan in January. Secretary is very pleased with, uh, with the support of Pisuso and we promise to support whatever program the government has, particularly on PUB modernization. So we will work to meet this target in terms of quality, cost, and delivery. We would like to thank Paso Mazda for their continued trust on Isuzu PUBs. We are confident that aside from providing our continues with more durable, comfortable, and safe transport solution, we also guarantee to Paso Massa that we will be providing the best service maintenance they need. Nissan Philippines has reported that it's closed 2019 with 42,694 units sold by the end of December, showing a strong growth rate of 22.2% when compared to the previous year. The significant growth is attributed to the popular Nissan Navara pickup with 19,034 units sold for 2019 and accounting for 44.6% of total sales. The Nissan Terra midsize SUV and the Nissan Urban Light commercial van were also instrumental in this milestone, each contributing 10,469 and 7,157 units sold respectively. Nissan Philippines also received the Nissan Global Award for financial year 2019 as a top sales performer for the brand worldwide. In other news, Nissan Philippines has launched the Service on Wheels program, a mobile solution that delivers scheduled on-site after-sales service and repairs, such as house calls or service caravans. Answering customer requests, the program enables participating Nissan dealerships to deploy dedicated service vehicles operated by two Nissan certified technicians. The service is available in select Nissan dealerships across the Philippines. GAC Motor has officially announced the availability of the GA4. The GA4 comes in a sleek and sporty styling with its iconic Flying Dynamics design, aluminum alloy wheels, feather fletching LED rear combination lights, and LED daytime running lights that look like spreading wings because of its very detailed design. The bold lines and chrome-accented grills, alongside its elaborate details, present a very premium look. 
Inside, the GA4 is fitted with premium quality leather fabric seats and spacious head and leg room. The GA4 is also packed with a handful of safety features to ensure a convenient ride. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Dad, naflatan kami. Dad? Dad? You okay? Iwan mo na yan. Ako na bahala dyan. Let's go. Hatid ko na kayo. Tara. Excuse me. <coughs> Let's go! Thank you. You always have my back. Have fun. I will. Journey, the new Montero Sport. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. I'm 36, I'm a husband, a manager, and still very good looking. In two hours, I have the most important meeting of my life. But first, it's time to play. Suzuki Patara. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. We have two well-known pickup trucks in head-to-head. -head. Both of them have remarkable reputations and are considered two of the biggest competitors in the segment. We're talking about none other than the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada and the 2019 Isuzu D-Max. Watch this. Let's take a look at the oily bits of our featured vehicles. Under the hood of the D-Max is a powerful 3-liter 4-cylinder inline blue power diesel engine with VGS turbo intercooler that generously gives out 177 PS of power and 380 Nm of torque. These figures are coupled with a 6-speed manual transmission with gear shift indicator. Meanwhile, the Strada runs on an efficient 2.4-liter DOHC diesel engine that is capable of producing 181 PS of power and 430 Nm of torque. The engine is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission. It's time to take a tour of the exterior of our two pickups. For the D-Max, its exterior boasts dark gray front grille and bumper coupled with sidestep board and rocker panel cargo extender, and roof rails. These details make for a modern styling. Furthermore, the two-tone 18-inch alloy wheels complete the look of the iconic pickup. On the other hand, the exterior of the Strata is highlighted through this high-engine hood line and beefier-looking lamps. And because there have been changes made to the exterior, the headlamps are side-by-side -side with the daytime running lights now. The Strada also powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels. Let's hop inside the D-Max and the Strada. Inside the D-Max, everything is wrapped in dark and fitted with leather. The front seats of the D-Max feature bucket seats with adjustable headrest, back pockets, and convenience hook. For added convenience, is equipped with the Auto Climate Control Air Conditioning System, Passive Entry, push-start-stop system, 
12 volt accessory socket and three USB charging ports. Let's head to the Strata. Inside, everything is also wrapped in premium leather including the seats. Soft pad materials and stitching can be found on the floor console, armrests, and parking brake. Mitsubishi takes pride in this compartment right here that serves as a mobile tray, a helpful feature if you need a place to store your mobile phones while traveling. In addition, at the back of the center console, you will find a similar compartment complete with new USB ports. More about convenience, the Strata is equipped with an air circulator that absorbs air from the front air vents then transfers it to the back. When it comes to the infotainment system, the D-Max comes with an 8-inch full-touch infotainment system that is available in CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, and iPod connectivity, among others. Meanwhile, the Strata is equipped with a touchscreen display system that is available in AM, FM, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. For safety and security, the D-Max is equipped with an anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. Traction control, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and hill descent control. The Strata is equipped with advanced technological features such as advanced safety features like forward collision mitigation, blind spot warning with lane assist, rear cross traffic alert, and ultrasonic misacceleration mitigation system, among others. Those are the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada and the 2019 Isuzu D-Max, two reputable pickups in the market today. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the Autos of the World. Spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing in this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 Jeep Wrangler. Let's watch this. The iconic Jeep Wrangler, the most capable and recognized vehicle in the world, delivers unmatched off-road capability and is produced with more than seven decades of 4x4 engineering experience. Powertrain options include a 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 with engine stop-start, 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 with mid-hybrid e-torque technology, 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine with ESS and a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine with mild hybrid e-torque technology. Wrangler continues to offer a body-on-frame design, front and rear five-link suspension system, solid axles, electronic lockers, and is one of the few SUVs to offer a six-speed manual transmission, in addition to its available eight-speed automatic. Jeep Wrangler's 3.6 Pentastar V6 engine delivers 285 horsepower and 260 lb-feet of torque. Available with ESS or mild hybrid e-torque technology and is engineered to provide a broad torque band. It is available in a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine. Available with ESS or mild hybrid e-torque technology. Delivers 270 horsepower and 295 lb-feet of torque. The Wrangler four-door model will offer the three-liter Echo Diesel V6 engine. Rated at 260 horsepower and 442 lb-feet of torque with ESS standard, a new 8-speed automatic transmission is standard and is designed to handle the increased torque output. Available on Sahara and Rubicon 4-door models, Sky One Touch Power Top allows occupants to open or close the Wrangler's roof with a push of a button. The Sky One Touch Power Top can be used at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. I'm 36. 
I'm a husband, a manager, and still very good looking. In two hours, I have the most important meeting of my life. But first, it's time to play. Suzuki Patara. Ano man ang marating, binabalikan pa rin. Ang mga unang pangarap, mga unang nakasama, mga unang aral, at ang unang naging gabay sa biyahe ko sa buhay. Oh Joshua, napauwi ka! Siyempre, miss ko na first love ko eh. Make more firsts with a Mitsubishi Mirage. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Following the launch of the Geely Cool Ray, the brand's flagship model for its relaunch in the Philippines, Sojic G Auto Philippines took members of the motoring media to Bataan for a fun test drive event. We have the highlights of the event here on this special feature. Attendees from various local motoring media outlets joined in on the adventure-filled weekend, along with officials from Geely Auto International Corporation and Sojits G Auto Philippines. The team, which all drove in an eight-vehicle convoy, took on over 180-kilometer drive from Manila going to Bataan. We invited them to drive the all-new Geely Cool Ray. So we are now here at Andrea Cove, Bataan to experience how cool the cool ray is. The entire drive showcased the capabilities of the cool ray when it comes to fuel consumption. The 15.5 kilometer per liter average fuel consumption was certainly highlighted within the mix of city and highway driving. It's a mix of public roads, highways, and at the same time some mountain roads, which is really perfect for you to test the engine of the Cool Ray, which is a 1.5 ED engine. It's 177 horsepower and it's only three cylinders, so you get to test it uphill, downhill, and the long winding roads. Aside from that, the drive showcased the state-of-the-art gasoline direct injection turbo engine and seven-speed dual-clutch transmission, which allowed the convoy to drive smoothly. Firstly, uh, the Geely's that you see right now are the Geely 3.0 era, so they're now integrated with Volvo DNA. So as you can see, the car is actually has that Volvo character in it. So one of the features is really, again, as mentioned, the engine, 1.5, the three-cylinder engine, 177 horsepower and 255 newton meter of torque. 
and at the same time it's equipped with the seven speed dual clutch transmission which is a wet type so um, you wouldn't have any problems driving it in traffic and also in the the exterior actually of the Cool Ray is designed by Jamie Barrett. She's a British guy. He puts his passion in the exterior and as you can see, it looks like a millennial car. Now for the interior, it's designed by a Chinese which is thinking that you are in a spaceship. So if you're driving a cooler, you feel that you're like driving a spaceship. The test drive event also put on Spotlight the premium features of the Cool Ray. This includes the automatic park feature and the 360 degree camera view found in high end cars. Actually, the car has four active cameras. It's all in HD. It has 12 volumetric sensors. That's why you can uh, do the automated parking assist. It can park itself parallel or perpendicular with just a touch of a button. Esgap capped off the event by saying that the brand will strengthen its commitment to build its nationwide dealership network and provide more quality vehicles to the consumers. For the compact SUV lineup, I think this one is the most stylish. It has the highest horsepower rating and it's all packed with features. So we don't want Filipinos to just get an SUV because of the profile. We want them to get an SUV that has all the features which you really need. Uh, in, in uh, everyday driving. GD Philippines is planning to uh, launch the new models uh, in every six months, that is the plan. So the next will be March or April uh, in 2020. Yeah. That is uh, uh, scheduled to be the, uh, another SUV. I really appreciate the, our friends uh, from media uh, join this tour and uh, I expect the, uh, everyone so fair. Uh, had a feeling uh, and experience what is GD Cool Ray uh, with uh, very excellent performance and uh, technical features. Hi everyone, um, if you have time you can just visit our first or our, our flagship dealer in GD North Edsa uh, and then you can test drive and you can see the cool features of the Cool Ray. And at the same time we have some mall displays roaming around Metro Manila so do check them out. Don't worry, uh, there will be some test drives to be offered because the Cool Ray is really an experienced car and if you can experience it, you feel that you're in a different car. So, yeah. Thank you. Bringing in the Geely Cool Ray as the company's flagship model after its relaunch in the Philippine market in 2019 is definitely a good idea. The media test drive event to Bataan was one proof of that. And up next is another exciting feature in autos of the world. This time around the 2020 Volvo XC60. Let's watch this. The XC60 is Volvo's five-door, five-seat, mid-size SUV. It is built on the Scalable Product Architecture, SPA, Volvo's advanced modular product platform that underpins all Volvo cars in the 90 and 60 series. Following in the footsteps of its predecessor, the second generation XC60 has quickly become the best-selling model in Volvo cars range. The original XC60 sold almost 1 million units globally and was the best-selling mid-size premium SUV in Europe. The XC60 carries the proud and confident face of Volvo's design language, along with classic Volvo styling cues. Key features include the iconic Thor's Hammer LED headlight design, the new grille, and Volvo iron mark, and the expressive use of the Volvo word mark on the rear. Inside, Volvo has taken cues from the clean Scandinavian interior design first introduced in the 90 series cars, raising the bar in the segment with natural materials and new details on the dashboard and instrument panel. All new Volvos are connected, thanks to Volvo's connectivity and infotainment system called Census. It delivers an intuitive touchscreen interface that combines car functions, navigation, connected services, and in-car entertainment applications such as Spotify, Pandora, Baidu, or TuneIn. The portrait-oriented touchscreen 
enables easy and fast access to a host of functions and features. As in the 90s series cars, smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is also available. The XC60 is powered by Volvo's Drive E powertrains, including petrol, diesel, and Volvo's T8 twin engine, a petrol plug-in hybrid mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Volvo's twin engine plug-in hybrid delivers all the benefits of a high performance, low emission petrol engine with an electric motor that delivers power on demand with ultra low CO2 emissions and more than 40 kilometers of pure electric range. Dad? Dad? You okay? Iwan mo na yan. Ako na bahala dyan. Let's go. Hatid ko na kayo. Tara! Excuse me? <coughs> Let's go! Thank you. You always have my back. Have fun. I will. I'm 36, I'm a husband, a manager, and still very good looking. In two hours, I have the most important meeting of my life. But first, it's time to play. The new Suzuki Vitara. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. Ford Philippines has brought in the 2020 Ford Everest, one that many have been anticipating. We have all about the brand sought after mid sized SUV in this car review. The design of the Everest, all straightforward yet appealing, has always been among the top selling points of the model. That leads us to our first stop in this car review, the exterior features of the 2020 Everest. Let's inspect the design and styling of the latest iteration of Ford's well-loved mid-size SUV. For the 2020 model, its rugged design has been refined with a new grille treatment, incorporating a secondary grille texture against its chrome HID headlights. With a redesigned bumper, the new Everest is also fitted with a new 20-inch split-spoke alloy wheel design with darker wheel accents that add to its rugged appearance. Let's take a tour of the interior of the Everest. Inside, the Everest's spacious cabin features a new ebony interior theme, which is responsible for the premium, luxurious feel of the car. Everything is wrapped in leather, including the sidings and the dashboard and of course the seats, providing comfort to the passengers. The black leather all around is further complemented by gloss black plastic and chrome trim. Moreover, there's a panoramic moonroof present that provides natural light, which illuminates the vehicle cabin, may it be day or night. Meanwhile, the active noise cancellation ensures a quieter cabin. But apart from the enhancements that have been done with the exterior and interior of the Everest, the real superstar here are the advanced technology features that center on the convenience, comfort, and safety of the driver and passengers. Let's start with the car's infotainment system. The Everest Sync 3 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto now powers the mid-size SUV. 
It comes available with 8-inch full-color touchscreen and reversing camera. Smart keyless entry and push-button start are now standard across the new Everest range, offering customers quicker engine starts, improved convenience, and ease of entry and exit from the vehicle. It's time to check out the powertrain of the Everest. Under the hood of the midsize SUV is a powerful 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that delivers 213 PS of power and 500 Nm of torque. These figures are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. That was the 2020 Ford Everest, coming in with a lot of new features. Here in Speed Lab, it's not all about making cars go fast and more horsepower, more torque and all of that. It's all, we also do boring stuff like maintenance, like on this 2009 Montero. It's a 10-year-old car. The things start to happen, noises start to come out, You'll hear tok 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 ting 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 nyik nyik nyik. That's normal for pretty much any car. Anything mechanical that moves will eventually develop some sort of sound because it's wear and tear over time. Uh, we already took this car out for a test drive, and from initially what we can tell, steering rack needs work because when you turn it, there's a tok 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 sound, and when you brake, there's also a clunk sound. So that means we have to check the brakes as well. Actually, you don't have to wait for the various sounds to come out. The reason why it's called PMS is called Preventive Maintenance Service. You prevent it from happening before it happens. So, very good example. Stabilizer bushings. These normally wear out anywhere from a year to about three years, depending on the car. You don't have to wait for it to have a sound. But the bad part about being in the Philippines is, hindi pa sira yan, wag mo palitan. Thereby, there is no prevention that's happening. Pag sira na, saka mo papalitan. That is always the mentality of the Filipino people. Kasi, hindi sira, bakit ko papalitan? Gastos lang yan. And then when you ask for an estimate from the CASA of the preventive maintenance schedule, they include a lot of things. Uh, let's say, stabilizer bushing, shock absorber, axle boot, CV joint, shock mounting. All of these things are not broken yet. But may about to break, will break, can possibly break. And then you get surprised of the bill. Oh, ba't ang dami? So it's more of a culture thing, more than anything else. So if you really want a properly maintained car, even if it's not broke, you change it. <laughs> the CASA's job is to maintain your car. Maintenance means you keep it running problem-free. Things like weird sounds coming from the suspension, there is already a problem. When the CASA gives you an enormous long list of things that need to be changed, it is because it is what, let's say, Honda or Toyota, the factory gives them, okay, at X number of kilometers, change this, change that even if it's not broken for worry-free performance for the next X number of kilometers or miles. This may look very daunting to almost anyone. Your car is in pieces. But that's the thing about cars. As long as it moves, it will break down, it will wear out. And the only real way to tell if a part is 
will really work out. It's not just by looking at it, you have to take it out and test it. A very good example is this one. Most everybody knows this is a shock absorber. This is what happens to a shock when it's not working. I mean, it looks okay. There's no leak. Physically and visually, everything looks fine, but... <laughs> you should be able to push it down easily and it should go up. Well, I can't push it down and it don't go up no more. So, hindi na yung ginagawa trabaho. It is absorbing no shock in your car. So, the result is actually matalbog yung kotse. Or matagtag. In this case, it's matagtag because it is resisting the motion of the spring. So this shock is effectively throw away. Other small things that get broken are almost always rubber related. The metal itself, let's say this one, this is the wall joint. Itong bakal hindi naman nasisira to eh. I mean, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, overall this is fine. But the bearing inside here is actually a cup and a ball. Over time, pag gumagalaw, it wears out and gets loose. This, I should not be able to move by hand. Hindi dapat malambot to, dapat matigas to. And then, the easiest way to figure it out, if there's something wrong with it, you hit it really hard like this. This happens when you steer the car. So in this Montero's case, sabi niya, pag todo liko, may tumutunog na, tok, tok, tok. Chances are, it's this one. So that's another thing. Small non-critical items are like this one, steering axle boot. This is still on the car. Physically, hey, okay, na mana. But only pag tinanggal mo, dun mo malalaman na punit na pala. And oil grease will leak out through here. And pag nawala ng grasa, umiingay yung pesa. So we're changing it with a new one, fresh and new, no hole, no nothing. Other items that have ball joints like this one. This is also part of the steering assembly. This is also soft. I should not be able to move this by hand, so. Should not make that sound also. So, tapo na rin to. We have replacement parts for pretty much anything uh, available on the market. If the casa has it, there's always an equivalent replacement part. Cheaper than casa, pretty much just as good also. Other things that we look out for are items that get worn out, like here, brake shoe. This is especially true for drum brake cars because it is behind the brake shoe, as in, hindi mo nakikita. Part of periodic maintenance actually involves taking this entire thing out and physically checking the brake shoe here. This, by the way, is already, we replaced the brake shoe and this is the original size, ganun kakapal. This is what your brake shoe is now, less than half the size already, so palitin na. And among other things, that brake rotors for the front. Uh, as you notice, this is very shiny right now because this has been refaced. This is the cheaper way to do it. You can actually reface rotors up to about two times before they get too thin to reface and then you have to replace it because this does get worn down over time. So this is still fine. Most of the kalampag and other things that you mo while driving is pretty much suspension related. So periodic maintenance means visually checking each and every part by a shop that knows what it's doing. And then if needed be, take out the part to physically inspect it and test like what we just did a while ago to see if it's still working as it should. This is also why if you delay periodic maintenance and then wait until na medyo madami ng sira, when you ask for an estimate from the casa or another shop, mahaba yung listahan. Eh, madaming sira eh. And can you tipid yung paggawa? Of course you can. So, gagawin mo lang to. Ayaw mo to kasi mahal. Ayaw mo rin to kasi mahal. Ito, tsaka na to. But just like a person, you cure one ailment, the rest of the ailments are still there. Madadamay at madadamay yan. Brake pad is actually here. Manipis na rin nga eh. That's less than half. New brake pads are like this. Old brake pads versus new brake pad. This is what's left on the old brake pad. This is what a new brake pad is. So, times two. Yes, they are now ceramic brakes. There are no more metallic brakes. There are no more asbestos brakes as some of them old timers may remember. So, it's pretty much this one. They're all ceramic now. So, the noise and other weird noises are pretty much a thing of the past already. <laughs> this is what's the inside of your drum brake. 
looks pretty daunting na parang, oh, ang dami naman yan, ano yan? This is the one that does the handbrake. This is the piston. Pag tumapak ka ng preno, fluid goes here, bumubuka to para itulak dun sa brake shoe. That's what actually does the braking. This thing here is the handbrake. Yung ratatatat, narinig mo, ito yun. <laughs> here, fresh delivery from KYB Philippines, we have set of new shocks for the Montero. This, by the way, is a KYB XLG. XLG is their line of OEM quality replacement shock absorbers. They are most normally known as KYB color black. Very simple. And it has to look exactly the same as your original shock absorber. Kailangan pareho itsura nito. Pag hindi pareho itsura, hindi papasok sa kotse. Same height, same everything. Remember the shock where it is so hard to push down. <coughs> and don't go up. Your new shock absorber should be fairly easy to push down. And goes back up. This one will give you back the right comfort in your car. Okay, our maintenance on the Montero is done. We've replaced a bunch of items in the suspension, most notably the shock absorbers, uh, the rubber bushings underneath, stabilizer links, and some of few maintenance items like axle boot, it's torn, we replaced that. And almost all the kalampag and noise and tick 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 tok 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 sounds are not present anymore. I won't say it drives like brand new, but it definitely drives a lot better than before it came into the shop and had all of this done. Then after everything, we put it on the dyno again and then we retuned it. So we got 200 horses. Uh, not bad for a 10-year-old car. So once again, like the name says, PMS Preventive Maintenance Service. You prevent the, it from breaking down. So bago masira, palitan. Wag yung Pilipino way na pagsira at kapapalitan. So here at Speed Lab, we not only do uh, racing and performance stuff, we actually do maintenance also, the boring things. Uh, change oil, spark plug, engine overhaul we have to do also. Because first and foremost, if you want more power from your car, you have to make sure that your car is running well and in good condition first. You can't make a car more powerful if there's a bunch of problems wrong with it. So we have to address that and that's what we do also. Anything mechanical as far as engine and suspension related is concerned, we also do that. Have a problem with your car, weird noises, bring it over to the shop so we can test drive it and most importantly we can hear what the sounds are because you can message us through Facebook also but saying something like May ingay yung kotse ko at may kalampag does not really help us in diagnosing what the noise is. So it's better to bring the car in for us to see, test drive. You drive it, you let us hear what the noises are. And then together we can look at the car and we can point out, oh, ito, 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 this, this, this is the potential problem. This is what we see, ito may tulo, ito may tagas and all of that. So at least you get a first hand view and what exactly is wrong with your car. And to know that, okay, these are the things that I need to replace. And that's our focus this week. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Don't forget to check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa. <laughs>